was in Greenwich in oh, 1987. Let me, let me just stop and you. Let me just stop you. I want to go, let me go over to the bread because there's a man standing at a microphone. Or is it a full store? Hang on, let's see. The, here comes the mayor. I think we may be getting a declaration. Oh, hallelujah. They think it's all over. It is now. Good morning, everybody. It's been a long night, but welcome to Brent Town Hall. You've had time, I hope, look out at the back there across to the illuminated cranes of our rapidly rising national stadium it's the centerpiece of our regeneration in Wembley and we're very proud of it but I think you've come here for some other reason yes so we go on now to the formal business and the result of the by-election I Charles Peter Lemon mayor of the London borough of Brent and returning officer for the parliamentary constituency of Brent East to hereby give notice that the number of votes cast for each candidate was as follows. Badwaj Jiden, 35. <laughs> Barshak Aaron Alexander, 37. More cuts for hairdressers. Butterworth no Brian, 361. Prima Iris Mary Jesse, 111. <laughs> Evans Robert John Emlyn, 7,040 votes. Fernandez, Uma Nalai Ini, 3,368 votes. <laughs> Paul Brian John, 140. Hope. Alan, 59. Ibrahim Kidori Forsi, 219 votes. Emmanuel Harold Leon, 188 votes. Lynch Noel Thomas, 638 votes. McBride Kelly, 189 votes. <laughs> Mackenzie Winston Truman, 197 votes. <laughs> Tether, Sarah Louise, 8,158 votes. <laughs> Eight thousand one hundred and fifty eight Walsh Neil Francis one hundred and one Weiss Rainbow George eleven <laughs> and and amazingly, not surprisingly, with sixteen candidates, spoilt papers one hundred and nine. 
I hereby declare that Sarah Louise Tether is duly elected Member of Parliament for the Brent East constituency. OK, a majority of 1,118 for Sarah Tether on a massive swing. Uh, she's now going up to the platform herself to presumably take the microphone, thank the returning officer as the new MP for Brent East. people of Brent East for voting for me today and for electing me as their Member of Parliament. It will be a huge privilege to serve them. Brent is an extraordinary place. It is the most ethnically diverse constituency in the country. It is a place of great vibrancy, a place of many cultures, but it is also a place of great need and it is a place that has been failed by the Labour government and the Labour Council. Now, today's election, today's election has a message for all parties. Tony Blair, I hope that you are listening tonight. The people of Brent have spoken for the people of Britain. They want you to listen. They want you to deliver. But there is no comfort in this result tonight for the Conservative Party. They're irrelevant to constituencies like this. The tide may be turning against Tony Blair and New Labour, but the tide remains far out for the Conservatives in this country. But Charles, Charles Kennedy, I want to thank Charles Kennedy personally. He has visited, he's visited this constituency so many times, he has practically made it his second home over the last two months. Tonight's, tonight's result is a vindication of the courageous stance that Charles Kennedy took on issues such as Iraq, but also health and schools. We have demonstrated, we have demonstrated as a party that we are the effective opposition in Parliament. And today, we have demonstrated that we are the only party in inner city London who can beat the Labour Party. But there is somebody who I would like to pay tribute to. I would like to pay tribute to my predecessor, Paul Daisley. Mr. Daisley died in tragic circumstances. He was a sincere man and a hard-working man, and I hope that I can be a worthy successor to him. And I hope that I will be able to represent this constituency, regardless of who voted what way. I want to thank the returning officer and his staff for the police, but most of all, I want to thank my agent, Victoria Marsham. And a very happy Sarah Tether there, having won the constituency of Brent East with a majority of, of 1,118 there. Um, on a turnout, let's just give you those figures up on the screen if we can. There you see it. The Liberal Democrats, 8,158 votes for Sarah Tether. Uh, Robert Tate, um, Evans, the Labour candidate, with 7,040. And Uma Fernandez, the Conservative, with 3,368. So Tories pushed into third place. Uh, Labour lose one of their safest seats in the country.